Today we're going to talk about um, the Lafarassi one skull that we've had uh, delivered as a replica. Now the Lafarassi one skull, um, it was found in 1909 at Savignac de Miremont in France by two Frenchmen um, called Louis Capitan and uh, Denis Peroni and um, here we show that's uh, close to the south of France um, there and not terribly far from the border with Spain. Um, the Lafrasi site itself consists of a large cave uh, with two rock shelters within a small limestone cliff uh, with a sort of scree slope too. The site there, um, people that have investigated it have found at least seven Neanderthal skeletons and these skeletons include the remains of three children and two babies and a fetus or a newborn. The Lafarassi one skull is of a male Neanderthal aged about 45 years. The cranial capacity is 1641 cubic centimetres. It's the second largest hominid skull um, ever found after the Amud one skull which is um, also a Neanderthal. It has a typical characteristics of Neanderthals in the sloping forehead, large nasal openings. The large nasal openings are thought to have been um, an adaptation to cold or um, in that they could warm up the cold air going into the nasal passages. They also had brow ridges and worn incisors. The incisors may have been worn by chewing on hides to soften them up to make into clothing and they probably did that um, a lot. They uh, probably used their teeth a lot too on harder food than we would have to chew too. The Nenethal skeletons at Lafarassi site have been dated between to between 74,000 and 68,000 years ago and it's interesting too that uh, at Lafarassi complex burial structures have been found that show evidence of Neanderthals um, burying their dead. The Neanderthals themselves existed from about 250,000 years ago to 32,000 years ago or so. There's quite a bit of dispute about these years. Um, before the Neanderthals there may have been another hominid called Homo heidelbergensis and um, as to when the Homo heidelbergensis is, um, became Neanderthals is sort of disputed. Um, there have even been some remains of a four-year-old boy found in um, the Iberian Peninsula in Portugal and this boy was found to have possibly a mixture of Neanderthal and human traits and that would have been dated to 24,500 years ago but that again is disputed. A lot of these dates are disputed. Um, around 39,000 years ago an ice age began and that may have contributed to the extinction of Neanderthals and also a lot of other uh, groups of people um, across uh, the northern hemisphere too. Uh, a group of Neanderthals have been discovered um, or their remains have been discovered uh, in Gibraltar in Spain and they've been dated to about 32,000 years ago. Now some facial reconstructions have been made of the Neanderthals and here you know, they have a sort of an adult male, adult female and a sort of young female and the facial reconstructions show that Neanderthals looked very very similar um, to modern humans and it has been found now that um, people outside of Africa have one to four percent of DNA that probably came from interbreeding with Neanderthals. So that's the short video about our Lafarassi one skull and we'll be doing some more about the other skulls that we have um, with us now too.